Terrell James Mac McNamara tonight accused of attacking D.C. Metro Police with his fist. One angry photo captured on a D.C. officer's body-worn camera. 61-year-old McNamara also said to have picked up a metal bike rack and repeatedly rammed the Capitol doors. The Chicago man free on bond tonight, and prosecutors and his attorneys have filed new court documents aimed at securing the reams of records accumulated in the January 6th investigation. As the violent throng broke through doors and windows at the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021, authorities tonight say James Mac McNamara is seen on video engaging with law enforcement officers, physically clashing with the cops, at one point picking up a metal bicycle rack and using it as a battering ram on a Capitol door. Authorities say McNamara is spotted lunging forward and swinging his arms near a group of law enforcement officers. And as seen in this picture from the federal court file, as McNamara appears to enter the building, according to federal agents, his advance is stopped by officers using pepper spray and shooting rubber bullets, quote, to repel the Chicago man. Two minutes after being targeted with police rubber bullets and pepper spray, authorities say this was McNamara fighting on with his fist clenched, lunging toward officers. McNamara arrested in Chicago November 30th, tonight charged with several felonies as a result of the alleged violence described in documents filed by the U.S. attorney in Washington, D.C., who has charged now nearly 900 people from all 50 states with January 6th crimes. As the January 6th cases continue to pile up, McNamara is among those who have been depicted on websites that feature unknown individuals isolated during Capitol Hill violence, then tracked and matched using social media, including one that appears to be McNamara posing with a water heater on behalf of a repair company. No comment tonight from McNamara's Chicago attorneys. McNamara had been known on the FBI's wanted pages as number 471. There are still hundreds of unidentified and unarrested individuals seen on videos that day, just as they have now charged the Chicago and known as Mac with attacking Capitol Police. What's been described as the largest law enforcement effort in American history lumbers on, approaching the two-year anniversary in less than a month.